Welcome to Cheer Kicks 101. What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Katrina. Today we are learning how to do a proper cheer kick. And if you do enough of them, it definitely is a workout. So get your shoes on and get ready to kick. All right, first things first, you're going to want to stretch. Now, I'm already stretched, but we're going to do a small little stretching routine just to make sure your muscles are good to go before we start kicking. So first things first, we're going to do just a side lunge like this. You want to really feel the stretch in your thigh area, your inner thigh area. And go over to the other side. I mean, I did that one a little incorrectly. Your knee, so I've been told, you're not supposed to put your knee over your toe. So you want to keep everything aligned like this. And again, you're going to feel that stretch deep in your inner thigh. All right, go ahead, put your legs out like this. Reach down to one side. Reach down toward the middle. And reach over to the other side. Now my favorite stretch is definitely this squat stretch. You really feel the stretch in your inner thigh area. Oh yeah. All right. I always like bringing the knee up. This is good for like a balancing stretch as well. This way. All right, next one, bring this knee up. And out. All right. Do a quick jog in place. Kick out, kick out. All right, since we're going to be using our arms in a high V motion, let's go ahead and stretch our arms just a tad bit. And other side. My favorite stretch is definitely going over and above. And on the other side. Oh, I know we're going all over the place. Go ahead. Fill it in your quad. I would get down all the way on the floor, but the grass is a little wet, so I don't want to have a wet bottom. All right, awesome job, everyone. Okay, definitely, if you feel like you need to stretch some more, go ahead and take this opportunity to pause the video and stretch, obviously, some more. If this is the type of content you like, please go ahead and like that subscribe button. Well, like the video, but hit that subscribe button and bell notification if you like workout videos. And this Friday, I'm gonna do, be doing a feature video as well as Sunday, I'll be showcasing a recipe. So if you like all things health, you know, fitness, food related, go ahead and subscribe to this channel. All right, everyone. Okay, so when you do a proper chair kick, you always want to stand with your arms at your hips for starters. Now everything is to the count five, six, seven, eight. For proper cheer, you know, technique, you want to hit your high V on one or five. It, honestly, it doesn't matter actually. Depending on your routine, you can hit it on whatever number you're doing. But for this video, we're gonna hit our count on one. So I'm gonna say five, six, seven, eight, boom. Hit that high beat on one. All right? Again, let's just try it. Five, six, seven, eight, one. Perfect. Now, when we're going to start incorporating the kick, you can start either on your right side or left side. It doesn't matter. You get to pick what side you want to pick. Now, I'm a righty, so I always start on the right side. So, again, let's try it. 
five, six, seven, eight, one. Now, when you are going to start doing some kicks, you're gonna also wanna put your back leg, back, your right leg or whatever leg you're starting on back on whatever number. So we go one, all right? So five, six, seven, eight, one. Awesome, so you pop that leg back, you put your hands up in a high V. Now let's try the actual kick. So you're going to kick on two. All right, you're gonna go one, two. And you're going to keep that your arms up in a high V when you kick up. So let's try it. Five, six, seven, eight, one, two. Now, I didn't jump when you're actually like in a full-on kick line you're gonna have a little hop to your step and that's a-okay now let's just do the left side just in case you are a lefty five six seven eight one whoops I didn't do my leg back let's try that again five six seven eight one and then again you kick up two now if you are going to do four kicks on one leg and four kicks on the other. When you're doing any type of choreography, your counts are within eight counts. So obviously we're going back on one, we kick on two. There's eight counts. We're gonna be putting our leg back on all the odd numbers, but we're gonna be kicking on all the even numbers. So slow motion, you would look like this. Five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Awesome job. Other side. Five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Awesome job, everyone. Now, if you wanted to combine everything instead of doing all sets on your right leg and then all sets on your left leg, you totally can't. When you put your leg back, you would either, if you're switching, so you would go one, two, three, four, you kind of do a little gallop back. And you would go five, six, seven, eight. So again, when you speed this up, you automatically put a little hop to your step because you're just gaining momentum. And the more sets you do, the faster you kick, obviously, the more you're burning calories and you're essentially working out. Now, one thing you do want to be um, keeping mind of is your toes. You want to make sure they're pointed. Because if you are pursuing dance or cheer or anything, you want to have pointed feet. You don't want to have like a flexed foot like this. You definitely want to point. So when you bring up your leg, you're going to bring it up like such. Now, if you can't bring it all the way up without bending forward, that's a-okay. You can bring it up slightly like this and then gradually bring it up higher as you practice over time. Now, I, this is what I tell my little kids when I'm coaching them. You wanna start off here. This is a much prettier kick if you start out low but if you start off high and you're just like, oh my gosh, I want to get that leg up. No, you definitely don't want to do that. So keep your leg straight, keep your foot pointed and just bring it up. And eventually, trust me, if you do this every day, you'll get it up here where you're like a rocketeer, New York um, um, rocketeer, you know, kicking up, having those Dallas Cowboy cheerleader high kicks. Okay, so into the workout portion of this. We're going to do a full speed kick on the right side. So four kicks on the right, four kicks on the left. Let's go ahead and try it. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then you slap them down like such. All right, let's try the left side. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Five. Good job. So. Again, right side, left side. Let's try that right side one more time. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Awesome, let's try that left side. 
five, six, seven, eight. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Awesome. So again, do that multiple times, how many ever sets you want. We'll start going into more advanced jumps at a later video. Woo. Then I'm out of breath. Maybe I shouldn't have, you know, walked two miles before I did this, but I wanted to do this video because I thought, hey, you know, why not? Kicks are an amazing way to work out. So next week, we're gonna have another workout Wednesday. Now I want to challenge you. Go ahead and do, I'm gonna say, let's go big. 10 sets of four kicks on each leg. So that is 40 kicks on each leg. If you all want to tag me in this challenge, please tag me at Katrina C. Armijo on Instagram. And I'd love to see you all work out. Thank you all for watching this video. Please like, share, and subscribe below. I'll see you next week for another Workout Wednesday.